What is the problem here? The problem is that all of your reports indicate that she has not awakened yet. Unfortunately, Dr. Kisaragi, I have proof that contradicts your claim. <sighs> you were never very good at telling lies, were you? It seems that your precious sleeping beauty has been awake for quite some time. When was she kissed, I wonder? But he promised me he was giving it to... What? <gasps> Please believe me, Doctor. I was only doing it for your sake. For my sake? Don't you mean for your sake? I don't think he wants to see your face anymore. Speaking of faces, where is Makoto's? It would appear that he doesn't like dealing with you. No, from the look on your face. Do you? I still don't know much about Kwan's origins. But it looks like the Bobbin Foundation is going to take over her care for my life. The Foundation, huh? It's not official yet, but from what I hear, it's all but a dumb deal. Well, since you've given me such a great scoop, let me pay back the favor with an interesting little tidbit I picked up, okay? It's about a certain Professor Shugo Ricto. You mean my uncle? Yeah. Did you know that your uncle had a daughter? <laughs> but he's never been married. That's right, exactly. But the fact is that for some reason he had one. Anyway, this daughter of his left home when she was 17. Of course, since that was before you were born, it's not surprising that you don't know about it. Huh? So what? How is my uncle having a daughter of any interest to you? Don't worry, I'm getting to it, okay? It seems that this daughter of his got married in Tokyo and her family name changed. And a most interesting change at that. Get to the point. It means the name of the gods. Call me now. An interesting name. Hmm? Maybe you ought to ask your uncle if he's ever been more than just a retired archaeologist. It's rather impressive, isn't it? You're sure about this? It was supplied by the Foundation. How can we possibly refuse? But you know it's a... Don't say it. Would you like to try a cinnamon chew? You know, when the environmental activists see this, they're going to scream bloody murder. And on that subject, Ross Fung's instrumentalist. Oh, I mean, it's kind. You mean Ayato Kamiya, right? Yes. Is there a reason I haven't seen her around? We have to search. Man, I'll never be able to remember everything in a service manual. Remote signal synchronized. Alpha V1 in refinal approach. Well, 
It's a pilot skill that matters. <laughs> Look, I don't care. As long as you do your best to trash this one of yours out. That way it'll be Captain McMahon who takes out the first production model. Oh, <laughs> you little... Oh, hello, Major. You haven't seen Ayato around here, have you? Sorry. But did you see the test? The Vermilion was amazing. This little sweetheart can pop Tokyo Jupiter's absolute barrier all by herself. You think so? No sweat. With a hundred of these, we could knock off all of Tokyo Jupiter in one fell swoop. You know that's right, and I'll be the first to weigh in when it happens. But why would Terra need something like this? I mean, what's the point? Huh? Major? Hmm? Can we talk? What did you mean out there? I didn't mean anything. Except that, frankly, in my opinion, Terra doesn't need a weapon system like that. What's that mean? It means that Terra's not part of the regular military. Weasel words won't cut it. Are you a military officer, Major? Are you or aren't you? Yes, but the Vermillion's an offensive weapon. Terra's purpose is to defend, not to launch invasions. And what the hell would you call Operation Overlord, then? An operation carried out by Federation forces. But you guys are the ones who planned the whole thing. Yes, but I was against it. Against it? Did you fight it? Or did you bite your tongue while my wingman died out there? Do you know what they call that where I come from? No, what? We call it hypocrisy, Major. Um, it's incredible. Ain't it though? We won't be just your opening act anymore. I doubt if it'll be that simple. By the way, that cute little major was looking for you. Really? Now let's see. I think he was talking to the big cheese about something. Do you have any idea how many innocent people were killed by the missiles you fired? People? They're just millions, Major! And since when are millions and people different things? Of course they're different, damn it! So I have to have less human than you are! I mean... What was that you just said? Hey! Are you saying that communist blood is a movie? The best thing you could do would be to forget what I just said. Kaya. I'm sorry. Ayato! Ayato, wait! What the hell? Mr. Yakum, it's just the two of us here, so you can call me so. <laughs> it's kind of a joke. Is what you were talking about true? <sighs> what? And then am I? You are you. Was I the only one who didn't know? No. Only a few people knew about it. Really? And you weren't laughing behind my back? Because I'm a Moolian and not human? Or were you just using me? Because I can control the loss of fun for you. It's pitiful, isn't it? Not you, Arato. I meant myself. Just pitiful. I don't even have the spirit to smack a little sense under that thick head of yours. It's okay, so... I'm just a dumb million anyway. Where you come from doesn't matter. What matters is being yourself. People are- Why are you even bothering?! Words can't change anything. They can when people talk to each other. That's why I'm here. Because we're all connected. 
And if you want to change anything, you'll stay here as well. It's a D1 alert. If you want me to fight, I'll go. What's the difference anyway? You don't have to go, you know. Can you really fight in your current state of mind? It's not as simple as you might think. you see that woman? Yes, and I might add that she seemed anxious to see you as well. Then I suppose that the three of us will have to meet. Well, you do reap what you sow. Do you? In that case, I may have plucked the flower. You will try to understand why I did it, won't you? Understand? 
Why would I even want to? That's so cold. But then some things are much better served that way. You'll get used to being alone soon enough. It's called independence. trying to open up a new world by using Quan as your key. But it's not your world, and you don't belong. And it's all because you're- DON'T YOU DARE SAY IT! Don't you dare. But a tainted mirror, its silver only echoes what sounds.
Did you feel something odd just then? Perhaps the alcohol has gone to your head. You'll get used to being alone soon enough. It's called independence. All I did was make your time come a little bit sooner. It would have come anyway, you know. I just bumped up our schedule. Finished it in one shot. Well, Helena, did you acquire enough data on the remains? What? Oh, yes, they fought for 38 minutes, 7 seconds. That should be plenty. Huh? By my watch, it was only 20 minutes. Well, have her return to base immediately. Get yeah. 